Welcome back. A woman allegedly fell asleep behind the wheel on State Route 28 and collided with an SUV. Carolina Isla, a 22-year-old Quincy woman, was driving a 1995 Subaru Legacy West on the highway Tuesday evening when she reportedly fell asleep, crossed the center line, and hit a Nissan Pathfinder going the other way. According to the Washington State Patrol, the Pathfinder stopped and was blocking both lanes, causing police to close the highway for about an hour. Isla was uninjured, and the Pathfinder's driver, Christina Compton, a 39-year-old Anacortes resident and two boys in the SUV were not injured. One of the SUV's passengers, Stormy Fulton, a 25-year-old Anacortes woman, was injured and taken to Columbia Basin Hospital. The State Patrol reported the collision was caused by Isla falling asleep and cited her with negligent driving in the second degree. A traffic stop led to the arrest of two Moses Lake residents for possession of heroin and a dangerous weapon early Saturday morning. Moses Lake police stopped a vehicle in the 1000 block of East Broadway Avenue for expired tabs. The driver, Juan Hernandez, a 36-year-old Moses Lake resident, was allegedly unable to provide a driver's license and provided the officer with a fake name. Police allegedly found a small case in his pocket that contained heroin. A passenger in the car, 23-year-old Isaac Bergeson, allegedly had heroin, prescription medications, and a knife in his backpack. Hernandez was booked for possession of heroin and driving while license suspended in the first degree. Bergeson was booked for possession of heroin, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of a dangerous weapon. In Northwest news, a small plane crashed shortly after takeoff from Chehalis Centralia Airport killing the pilot, the only person on board. The plane went down in a nearby business parking lot. The FAA says the plane hit several parked vehicles in the lot. Some of those vehicles caught fire. No one on the ground was hurt. There's no word yet on a cause of the crash. The FAA and NTSB are investigating. Church or football, a college athlete in Oregon says his coach forced him to choose between the two, and now he's fighting to stay on the team. For CNN, reporter Kimberly Eiton reports. He asked me to choose between church and football. I said, Coach, I can't do that. I said, that's like asking me to choose between God or football. A choice, Vincent Johnson says, wasn't easy to face, choosing church over the sport that brought him to PSU. A decision he didn't want to and says shouldn't have to make. I just really want to play. But he hasn't played in months since the spring when he says he went to his coach with a problem. Four services at his Milwaukee church, the World Mission Society Church of God, fell at the same time as football practice. Johnson claims his coach would only allow some of the absences. It's a lot of people that they miss practice due to if they have academics or anything like that. So it, it could have been it could have been arranged. He's filed a complaint with the university, which is still under investigation. We reported it to our Global Diversity and Inclusion Office and immediately began an investigation. And in the meantime, we've made the student aware that there's that their tuition and their scholarship is safe and secure. For that, Johnson says he's grateful. That was a blessing right there. His primary focus is still on finishing school, but also hoping to get back on the field. I just want to finish my college career. And that's going to do it for us here at i 501 News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.